What's up everybody? Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the update to MetaHuman Animation Tool by Locodrome. You can download it straight on Fab, you can choose two tiers, a uh, standard license or uh, whatever. One's free, one you pay for. So if you want to test it out, first of all, uh, you can, you can, uh, you can, uh, you, can uh, you can do that. Right, so inside of here, basically the first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure the plugin is enabled. So just go to settings. Let me just move this out the way. Go to settings, plugins over here, and just just type in uh, common, common, and make sure your common uh, common UI plugin right over here. Common UI plugin beta, and just make sure that's on. You can say yes, and you can restart the engine. Okay, so once you got the plugin installed and you got your character, all I've done is made a level sequence. I've added him to the level sequence, and from there you can just go into here and go look for uh, uh, Locodrome. Click on that, and you'll get Matt. Open that, right-click it, and you're gonna get uh, Run, Run Editor, Utility Widget, and this now should take your character. If you can't, just load him up in here. And here's the beauty here's the beauty of this here's the beauty of this you can go to body or you can go to the the, the face and here's a trick that i didn't know before um i don't, I don't know what's up with that uh material uh some some things just don't load properly anyway we don't care about that for now but if i select the eyes you can use w uh w s a d to start moving things around which is very very cool okay you got eye settings uh i don't know what any of this does oh it selects selects look, look at this eye settings so it selects like the the follow head selects eye parallel look and uh, you've got a couple of options here which is nice look look ai switch okay look at switch oh my god no ai no ai Right, once again, you've got like a, a lot of millions of options here, which we've covered the face, not, not, not extensively, but we've covered the face before in a different video. But what we want to go look at is the body love, is the body. And now you can start selecting these. And once again, you can start using WASD. And you can start animating like this, which is pretty damn cool. So that's pretty cool. So if you go over these, you get like a couple of hints. Look here, it says uh, control, shift, and click with control selected. So if I take this and I shift select other controls and I go over here and I press control, shift, and I click. Now, if I select this, it'll select all three of those controls. Isn't that cool? And now you can move them all at once. Okay, that'd be it. I just got to get I just gotta get rid of just ignore it okay but you can start animating like this which is very cool actually very cool well some things I think it's running like that because I've got angle on if I take angle off uh, and I select the spin again oh no it's still it's still kind of does that okay it's fine um, so that's that I mean I could take like a, uh, if I take this arm you can see there's no IK on the arm how do you put IK on this? How how do you put I how do you put IK on this? Let's have a look. Arm. There we go. And then you can select the IK. You can select the uh, IK over here. And once again, interesting. Let me just see. No. Okay. So it's a little bit different for the arms. I can't really. No. That's just moving the box. But if I move this around, yes. Okay. That's all fine. Or was it shift W S A D? I know there's a couple of weird. There's there's different there's different ways of doing this, but I don't I don't really know. I don't really know, but I'll say, I'll put a link of uh, his video. The guy ah there we go. So you hold shift. That's right. Okay, so you can hold shift W A S D and you can start animating that IK straight from here, which is quite quite insane actually. I mean, if you want pretty good movements, it's a bit slow, but like you said, it's it's not ideal, but this is the, the way that he's got for now, which is all right. 
then you've got like world transform you can copy things different places paste world origins over here this is pretty cool I like this a lot like so this is for the hand and this uh, allows oh okay let's, let's uh, rotate so this allows like a, a nice little I don't know what's up with that thing <laughs> I don't know what's up with any of this but this allows some really nice movements that you can do with the hand. You can shift select all of them, I reckon, and move. That's pretty cool. Let's take all of those. I don't know what, all of those, all of those, all of those, and these, I don't know, this is probably the uh, index, okay. And you can start animating, there we go. It's, it's a lot easier like this, man. It's a hell of a lot easier like this. And if you go over them, you can see what they are uh, giving you. Okay, which is pretty cool. So you can just go in ahead and start animating fingers, which is a nice feature. This has always been a, a difficult one to get. All right, so uh, you've got all that. You can copy the poses, paste poses, meta poses. It's all there. It's all there. So this is just another add-on that is done. If I want to go to face, I can go directly to the face and I can start animating quickly. I can take uh, the what 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 is it what what do we oh man i gotta i gotta get rid of that i i gotta hold on hold on okay i just had to hide that quick but once again man you can select any control and you can start uh animating and you can the cool part is you can start uh animating directly using wasad and i think q and e are also uh some things i'm gonna have to look at that Okay, so this is pretty cool. I mean, this is amazing. Look, this is the first time I'm opening it up just to have a look, but uh, it seems like, okay, so this is to activate and deactivate IK, which is awesome. And you can animate between those. You've got tween overshoots, which is pretty damn cool. This is very cool. Uh, these copy world transforms, uh, this is if you've got an object or something and you want to snap it to the wrist or whatever bone you want. You can do it quite, quite easily, the translations, the rotations, and the scales. Um, otherwise, man, it's pretty damn cool. Let me see, if you hold shift, this is for, if you don't hold shift, that is for, let me just have a look, yeah. Uh, come on, do something, do something, let's just, let's just play, okay. So if you do that, don't hold shift, uh, W-A-S-A-D, and that is rotation, Q and R and E is the other way. If you hold shift, this is translation. Okay, that's pretty cool. But I mean, you've got your entire rig here, which is cool. If you want to get rid of this thing, you, I think you can deselect everything. Hold, hold control, shift and just click it and that takes that away, fine. Or if you have something, just let me see, and you do that, that'll add it. And now if I want something else here, I think I can just, override it yeah okay so you can either override it or delete it and that's fine and then you can start okay it takes a little bit of uh <laughs> whatever but there it is it's actually pretty damn cool so i'm just holding shift for translating this kind of stuff and if i take my hand off shift and uh w a s a d it'll rotate and transform so that's pretty cool I, I wish that was a bit faster but mm, I wonder if you can speed that up I'm not too sure but otherwise this is an extremely brief overlook at this which is I mean pretty damn cool man if I take these two and I reset them BAM okay easy to reset things yeah I like it mate I like it I like it a lot and go over here do that reset yeah this is a fantastic tool man this is an incredible tool definitely you know sponsor the guy give him a bit of cash buy the right one i'll be doing that i just wanted to check it out but i think he's done a great job man an, an extremely good job if uh, these animation tools from going back and uh, left and if we could get like something like the speed of it can we get the speed of it i don't know if this if that's part of it no but if we can get the speed of this and more fluid, uh, maybe not even fluid, but just speed, speed. If we have a little slider and we can, we can make it faster or slower, that would be a huge one for us. Um, same with these, these are rotations. If I hold down shift, uh, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. 
Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, okay. So, you know, it, it takes some getting used to. It definitely does. I mean, they're pretty cool, but I wish they were faster. Man, give us a slider that we can go fast as we want, you know. And maybe a little bit more fluid. I don't know if we need that, but speed definitely. That, that, would, that would be absolutely lovely. And if I pick it by itself, it would be nice that these controls work WASAD, but I think you got to pick it from here and then it only works. So maybe if you pick it from here, it can still work. It would be pretty cool. Uh, see if I pick it from here. I can't move anything, but if I pick it from here, then I can. And there's that little bit of a delay. Get rid of that. But otherwise, man, what, a, what an incredible tool. Love this thing. It's, it's amazing. Uh, well done, man. It's awesome. Anyway, I hope this helps. This is an absolute noob look at this. I'll get more into it and I'll discover all the little secret features and I'll also discover nice ways of using this and I'll let you guys know. Hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.